Hello everyone, TJ here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about a few different things, so without further ado, let's take a closer look. So I want to start out by addressing the elephant in the room. I know many people did a video on it yesterday, fellow content creators, and I had considered not talking about it because they covered it really, really well. Yes, it really sucks, it's really frustrating from all of us, but honestly, there's nothing we can do. And I would suggest instead of going with the troll or people targeting CG specifically, I don't think people should target them. Yes, we're allowed to feel frustrated as well, but we have to see it from both sides. And we can be baffled at their marketing decision. Still, I would say let's try to keep a positive mood despite it being really really difficult game is alive and as someone commented i think maybe yesterday i said alive and well well is a relative term but the game is alive the game is not dead people still work for cg the game is still making money there was a photo posted yesterday how much money it made in january etc so be positive it's coming okay it's coming so as we have this continued downtime period, I was thinking, what do I want to focus on? Because I just managed today to farm. Where is it? Uh, whoops, not there. I think we passed it. Yeah, we've definitely passed it. I got the last uh, gear for Charu. So I'm going to use my daily tomorrow to get her uh, gear tier 8. And then I'm going to try to go with the strategy that I have heard can get 1.5 Haratrim Charu in chapter 3 and also Charu should work pretty well on some teams in chapter 2 but I don't think I'll use her there so my goal for Q1 as I mentioned in the video yesterday it's reach 20 million to uh, raise myth or currency so what is my next goal? Well, I would guess maybe my next goal is to replicate Sleeper and other people who get great scores in certain chapters. So if we go on Haratrim being able to do 1.5 in chapter 3, I have my Rivendell, I have my Gondor team doing that. So that's probably the, last, uh, the next part where I'm going to uh, focus to get one more team and then hopefully two teams to 1.5. So, so I get to that magic 7.5 million. Chapter 1 is probably my least favorite chapter. Yes, there's uh, RNG with the Cape Troll, but honestly, I'd rather have that than Double Skull Crusher spawning when I'm at 1 million in a Chapter 1 run. So, so what I have considered is actually gear-wise, maybe level up Eothane because he actually does have pretty good gear. So that's one idea that I had. Then another one is go into fellowship because Gandalf is going to be seven star at some point soon. And there's very good plug and play there. Now the only problem, I know there's candles locked behind this. I don't remember what it is here. And for Gandalf, I believe it's the same as the dwarves. So there is that and this means a whole new bunch of abilities I have to invest into. I could also go over and do Biffer. So I ha would basically have a five-man dwarf squad. And that's probably where I'm going to go. Also because my Biffer is halfway to a seven star. And now he's actually six star. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, this would make a lot of sense because here I could get the basic to dispel boons. Defensive is great for when people are hit by the same attack. This could be great for the ball rock and other places maybe. Uh, cleanse, grant some provokes, do some different stuff. Flick the slow. Slow is always nice. Um, could do something here with the might, but honestly I don't think I will do that. So if I don't go into um, those options, then my option would probably be Shadow. Whoops, uh, I wasn't supposed to click Tank. And as you can see, I have the Goblins coming along. 
I could maybe do gold birds. Um, so I'm getting another team up for 1.5 in chapter 2. It's definitely going to be chapter 2 or chapter 3 I'm going to focus. Chapter 4 I'm getting 3.4-ish. And I'm pretty okay with that. Because there's other places where I can do more for the time being. So, yeah. It's probably coming down to a tie between... Biffer and the goblins and my gut feeling is telling me my gut feeling is telling me goblins because my leftover squad at the moment is not that great here and there but again fellowship is just gotta be honest having a gear 9 Gandalf and these gear 9 like they do great overall would be fun. They do well on both the single targets, so maybe I will go these three because I can plug and play Mary and Pippin from the R2R squad in chapter three. I haven't invested further into them since forever, but they're still doing okay. So I could plug and play them here with some haste, immunity. Um, on the individuals. There's some tank swapping around. There's a high amount of damage. Um, there's dispel the booms. There's health. Uh, attack all enemies. Stamina, etc. So I'm really unsure where to go. Now I'm still buying all the gold that uh, all the things that I can with gold. Also, these gear 9 would be nice. So let's just go by rank again, just to see my roster. Overall, it's pretty nice. Some people are coming along. Biffer is coming along. Denethor as well. Gandalf is 6 star. Goldberg's on his way to 7. This is... If I'm lucky, it takes 9 days due to the X10. If I'm very unlucky, it takes 18 days. So um, that's basically... Then I will have 3 goblins done. Then it's just Jeff Kraska and Orpheus. And why did it click that? I didn't click that. I I scrolled. And then it's Orpheus down here. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. And it's going to be very interesting to see what's happening. And hello, Mr. Bandit. Where are you? I see you. Are you just sitting there? Okay. Not an issue. I hope. Sometimes he wants to use my expensive chair as his scratching free, despite him having free available in the house. So, yeah, a little bit wary here uh, because I just know him, how he is. That like, yeah, he's a he's he's a bandit. Uh, his name really fits. And I'm just basically farming characters. Like, I'll show you two of them that I'm actually farming. I'm farming. Eowyn as well, and when I'm done farming her, I'm gonna swap over to EO thing again. If I could go back and restart everything, I would never have stopped with the Rohan free. So I would really suggest people finish that, star wise at least. Here we are around a third towards um, seven star on Herondil. That's pretty f good to see. Always nice to be able to get everyone to seven star just for the future and here we are 40 shards into the 300 so yeah i'm just doing that really slowly they will be farmed at some point as well and then i can swap over to newer characters that are getting added to chapter notes uh, new chapters etc we know that's gonna come because yes the game is alive so don't worry it's very frustrating i share it with you i'm just maybe more positive but yeah the game is feeling, I will say that for me, because when there's not a raid active, the game is feeling like there's not that much to do. So with, uh, with no news, no offers popping up, no marquees chasing, etc. It's really been very interesting. And for me, like what I will end on is this is kind of like FOMO versus nothing. Uh, or FOMO versus Silence. And honestly, I re I've played uh, Marvel Strike Force. That was too much FOMO with the offers. So 
I guess there's um, downsides to both things. Don't need to state the downside here. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some offers. Uh, my wallet probably isn't, but I'm looking forward to getting some offers. So, yeah. Drop a comment down below. Who are you close to farming uh, being done and who will you move on to? Leave a like and I'll see you all next video.